Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Apricard Life 5, and this is going to be one of the last pit stops we make before heading to San Diego, so. During this during day 4 and day 5 of this road trip, we went and saw some interesting things, and a lot of it had to do with what was expected, you know, and saving all that gas mileage. Stopping for food and all that. I mean, seeing the bright scenery, you know. Yeah. And taking my sister to her next job, which is being a nurse, you know. And she got a PhD in nursing, so. But that's not the only thing. My brother in law, he's in the military, and he's going to be deployed in July for six months. and He's stationed in San Diego, so that's a good thing because what I know is I'm living the life, and that's what it's all about. So let's look at some of these pictures that I took. This one was random, and it says still in Texas, but that picture right there that you see is looks like a tower. Of some unknown reason, but yep, the way to sum to summarize it, that's the way Texas is. You know, it's still a clean state as far as most of the buildings I've been in, but yeah, there's really anything to see in the middle of Texas. You know, and then while. Well, I was taking a snapshot of this. The kids were talking about windmills, you know, and my mom was talking about, come on, kids, let's see how many windmills you can see flying in the air. So I probably know what is expected and all that. So, yeah, that's all I can see. But the thing, otherwise, here are some pictures still in Texas, but they're in the mountains, you know, and the thing about Texas is, yeah, we were still driving in the interstates and all that, and knowing that Texas is just an A-OK -okay state, but still needs some time, you know. Sorry about this video. The kids are in the background hollering at me. Let's move on. And as we kept driving and driving, we still saw mountains and rocks and all that. And pretty much, mm, I kind of knew this was going to be a boring and long winding road to San Diego. But still, we crossed the mountain time zone so wasn't that bad after all and then once we got to New Mexico we saw this beautiful sign that says welcome to New Mexico you know and it's still in the USA so we saw New Mexico and it was a bright scenery but still when we stopped at a few places like the gas station, for example. The kids needed to go potty, and there was no potty while we were trying to find a gas station, and there's really anything to do, you know? And I think it kind of affected us, you know? But pretty much the kids were good as far as potty stops are concerned. And then one more thing. We saw some sand, you know, in New Mexico. And this is what the bright scene looked like, you know. And it pretty much looked like... Well, in the next state you'll see it, it, Arizona, you know. That was the next... The state between California and New Mexico, so... Yeah, 
and then and then once we try to get a hotel we stopped at a Applebee's where it's some of you have known there's not that many Applebee's because they're in a uh, bankruptcy concern or bankruptcy crisis and they're shutting down most of them so see all the sandstorms that happen in New Mexico it's pretty much just sand you know so and then the final photo I took somewhere in New Mexico was Vado Speedway Park and it looked like an oval track to me but I bet Daniel Suarez a NASCAR driver in the Cup Series has raced there before because He's from Monterey, Mexico, so pretty much he's the only Mexican that's actually seceded in Cup. Under like JPM, Juan Pablo Montoya and all that. So I pretty have to hurry up because the kids are hollering at me again. It's not as much content that or thoughtfulness that I want to bring up there, but hey. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, share a comment um, right below the description if you guys have been to New Mexico before. So, yeah, I'll just leave it there. So, I'm make K Happy Car on i 5. Y'all have a great day and peace out. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona Night 5. You'll have a great day and peace out.